How's it going, guys? Welcome back to the channel. I hope you're keeping well. I hope you're keeping fresh on a lovely Wednesday afternoon and Wednesday evening, should I say? Just going to talk about the game preview for tomorrow between Liverpool and Atlanta and the starting eleven as well. As you can see to the right to me right, I have a special guest in Mikey. He does his own vlogs for you on his YouTube channel as well for Shamrock Rovers for Shamrock Rovers games. Hasn't been doing it in a while now, but he's definitely going to be doing something now as the season commences in the summer, aren't you, Mike? Yeah, we have. Um... We have something big coming up now in the next few days. It's going to be very good. Yeah, it should be good, shouldn't it? Obviously, please, please tune in for that as well if you want to. Like, if you want to have a, a just a quick glance today. So we'll just talk about the game as a whole. A uh, big game we coming up to go. Oh yeah. How are you feeling about it? Oh well, like it's a big game. Land they're a good side. Um, they have obviously this season is. I don't know how they've been playing this season now, but. Yeah, but me follow that much of Italian football. I don't follow it. Italian football. Yeah. I probably follow more. I've I've kept a bit of an eye on it so, myself, but I, I mean, follow the Bundesliga this season. I follow them. I just mostly follow like League of Ireland football, English yeah. League One Championship. Yeah, and I follow a bit like I follow I follow around all the all the leagues in the whatever you want to call it, the UK and. Ireland and stuff. You obviously follow a lot of the SPL as well. Yeah, SPFL, yeah. The managers, yeah. Yeah, it's been there. So, okay, you haven't really kept an eye on, on, on Italy, I think. On, sorry, on Atlanta. Um, from what I know is that they're chasing the Champions League as well themselves. Um, they're in the competition. They were beaten by Florentino 1-0 in the Coppa Italia semi-final first leg. So, you know, they've got some good players, haven't they? I mean, their best player is probably... Uh, Cup Miners. Yeah, they did they have Luckman as well? He Luckman's a pretty good striker. Leipzig, yeah. yeah, he's been a journeyman for most of his career. You started off at Charter and then he went to Everton, then he went to RB Leipzig, then he went to. He's kind of been here and there and everywhere at many clubs, do you know what I mean? I think he was, actually he was at Leicester, wasn't he, if I remember? Yeah. yeah. He was at Leicester and I think uh, Skromaka, who was at West Ham last season, didn't really quite work out for him, but when he's gone back to Italian soil, he's really. I think he's their second top goal scorer behind Cup Miners. So, you know, they've got some players that can score goals that are pretty clinical as well. And they play a very sophisticated style of football where it's 3 4 1 2. Uh, it's a bit of a balance in terms of them being defensive and being attack minded. You do they, expect that from Italian teams. Yeah, but the they're, more, they're more of a high performance side. They're not like they're, they're not like an attack, typical Italian side, really, early. They're more of a kind of a more of a. A German based side where they, so they got control. to did they get to the quarter finals in twenty twenty Champions they League? They did, yeah. They were very unlucky in that game as well. Who did they, they against in the quarter finals again? Was it it wasn't was it Leipzig or was it, it PSG? was uh, they were against PSG in the quarters and they they, they could see it too late. Oh goals. yeah, I remember watching that game. Yeah, yeah I remember COVID, what? which was a horrible, horrible I remember, experience. I remember but, I was out with my friends watching that game. It was meant like that's what called was like back then, yeah. you know what I mean? We played them twice in the group stage. The season after, you bet them we, five nil away, and we, we lost, lost two nil at home. Yeah, yeah. So, like, so you know, if, obviously, um, obviously, I do a lot of Rovers content, but I am also a big Liverpool fan. I, but I used to follow Premier League a lot when I was younger. I haven't been following. It. I've been following it. I don't follow it as much as I used to now, but um, yeah. It's gonna be. He still loves that mind. Oh yeah, of course I love. Yeah. It. So obviously, yeah, it'd be a, it'd be a champ. It's kind of a typical Champions League toy over two legs that we have to be very very cautious of. And um, you're up a leg. I think yeah. I think it's like a typical Champions League side, really, really over two legs, really. Even though it's Europa League competition. I won't. I won't mess. I won't run. The, I won't run the rest. No, of the neither month. would I. I don't think Klopp will either. I it'd think be a tough game. To be fair, most of the time in Europe against teams we can kind of hold our own can't we yeah. depending on the opposition so I mean I don't think Klopp will take a look yes he'll make a few changes but um, I don't think it'll be too too bad so we'll just start off with the start in 11 that I predicted uh, in goal I've gone for Queen and Kelleher um, didn't do too great the other day yeah, against Man United I mean you couldn't blame him for the first goal could you move your man Kwanzaa did there if I don't, Everton Fernandez. he was out it was in all man's line for it second goal you could probably question a bit from the yeah from man the made out some strike he did wasn't it yeah it was you could, you could question maybe if a goal, better goalkeeper would have saved that you know maybe yeah so I think um, so I think okay Keller this will be his last probably game for us this season playing against Atlanta Allison's back in train thank god hopefully so he's if he's Okay, hopefully she'll start against Crystal Palace. Uh, also, players by back in training. Stefan Bacetic is back in training. Jeez, he's been gone back season, training. Hasn't he? Yeah, he's had a lot of, a lot of muscle and um, growing pain. I don't going think on. Yeah. Will Thiago be back by No, no, he oh, won't. I think he's got. Neither Matt himself disease anyway, we knew that. So. Yeah. 
I don't think Thiago will feature a single minute towards them from now to the end of the season, so um, I don't think the club are going to risk that. Anyway, um, yeah, so Kelleher and goal. Uh, back four, I've gone for Conor Bradley as a right back. Centre half, I've gone for Joel Kwanzaa. Left side of centre half, I've gone for Virgil van Dijk. On left wing, but uh, left back, I've gone for Costa Simicas. I just think Simicas is more of a Europa League fullback. You know what I mean? And he has experience in his competition playing with Olympiacos on uh, num numerous occasions. So probably give let, give Robbo the rest on with, with one eye on what what's going to happen. So yeah, uh, I think that is a back four I'm okay with, just as long as we don't see too many goals in the first half. Midfield, I've gone for Otaro Wendell as a DM. Uh, Alexis McAllister on the left side of midfield. And I've gone for... Oh, sorry. Left side of midfield, I've gone for Curtis Jones. Right side of midfield, I've gone for Alexis McAllister. I just think that's the perfect balance midfield we need. And the midfield in this game is going to win our, win our break, win our lose the whole time because they have a pretty good midfield and cup minors in Darion, who's very vastly experienced. He plays for the Dutch side quite a lot. And you also got Edison, the Brazilian midfielder, who I don't think has been capped many times for the Brazilian national side. But he has been pulling the strings from the midfield from a defensive point of view and a very and a very offensive point of view as well. He's got a good eye for a pass. So and obviously Cup Miners as we all know is a very versatile midfielder. Yeah. He likes to score goals, shows good leadership as well. So um, I think the midfield is going to be one or lost in this game if we perform well, or if we don't perform well. But hopefully, we perform well over the two the two toys to get the job done. Uh, full three, I've gone for Harvey Elliott as a right winger. He was actually good the other day, wasn't he? Yeah, he was the best player. We should, well, I think we should have started him actually. He should have, yeah, and I think he will get the start for this one, wouldn't he? Yeah, you know, like Salah, we're gonna to have to manage his minutes now because of the league and, and, and what we're fighting for and that. So I reckon Elliot probably gets us gets a start over Salah. Salah will definitely feature at some points. There's no question about that. So we we should be we should be seeing him at some point. I imagine. And we have left wing. I've gone for a Cody Gakpo. Yeah. And the reason why I've gone for Gakpo because he didn't he didn't play that much against Man United. He only came on for the last twenty five minutes. And I think he'll get a start in this fixture, which probably makes a bit more sense because you have to keep players fresh. You have to make sure they play over sixty to seventy minutes per game. Just so there's no fatigue and muscle pains and what and aches, whatever you know what I mean. So I think Gakpo starts at left wing, centre forward going for Darren Nunes. I just think they'll just keep playing oh, now until till there's an injury or some sort of off. I mean, we need a striker that's going to cause their back three very a lot of a lot of issues. The play, the, the back three that they have is very versatile, very similar to what the event the sorry not the event is the Inter Milan back three years, even though it's more solid. But they, they like to interchange positions when, when one defender goes forward and two stay back and so on. Or one if one defender will press in midfield and so on. So you will be probably seeing a bit of that in this game. Um so that would be the eleven I've gone for Mike. Yeah. Would you, you wouldn't have any complaints about that, would you? No, probably not. I think we've a good eleven now. Obviously Atlanta are good solid so yeah. I'm not gonna And obviously on the bench we got the likes of Salvasoy yeah. we have Salah, yeah. we have Diaz, we have uh, many different options as well. Gravin Birch, you know yeah. what I mean? Gomez, Robo. So we got a big, big bench there if we're not afraid to use if things go wrong. Hopefully, it's a very comfortable performance and a solid win to just uh, take us on to the next phase when we need to go. Yeah. Is there anything else you want to say, Mike? Yeah, yeah. Come on. I really look forward to it. Um, it's, been, it's been a while since we've back. It's been a lot. It's been, we haven't had, it's been nine minutes into the video and we haven't even said. Something, yeah. Or we haven't said, oh, do you want to say something now? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, because guess what? We'll be going to the game. Yeah. We? Yeah, we will be. Me, Mike, and Jamie, the other brother, who doesn't do YouTube, unfortunately, because he's got, you know, he's, he has a so-called busy life. But anyway, um, me, Jamie, and Mike will be going to the game tomorrow, and we're looking forward to it, aren't we? Aren't we? Yeah, it's going to be good. Bro. Our first game of the season, and probably will be our last one as well. Definitely, I mean, we just jumped at the chance to really yeah. go and see club. And it's not only that as well, because the next day, Rovers, Sloyd or Rovers. Yeah, every day. big league of Royal fans. So Obviously. he's going to try and do something special. Special in those two if he's going to win his next vlog anyway for those. So please stay tuned to that. So yeah, so yeah we're going to the game. We're looking forward to it. Um, bags are all packed and all, so we're all ready to go. Yeah. Have to 
So to get a few hours kit now, so then we can prepare properly. So as you can see, uh, this has been recorded on Thursday night, so it is at the time now, it's 10 past, it's 10 o'clock, yeah. 10 past 10, so. Um, what time do we be up for? We'll be up for 5. Don't 5 a.m. Yeah, we'll be up for 5, so we just, as, as long as you get a good 4-5 or five hours kit, we should be not too bad. Oh, yeah, so much. yeah, thanks very much for watching the video, guys. Also subscribe to the channel if you're new to this. Please like the video if you're new to this as well. Let us know in the comment section down below about your, the start eleven you would have predicted and what result you would predict as well. And please click the notifications about the next video we'll be doing. I'll be doing a post-match video after the game, a few hours after the game. I can't guarantee where it'll be or what it'll be, but hopefully it's a good result for Liverpool. Oh. And then we'll talk about the Crystal Palace game coming up as well after that. So in the meantime and between time, all the best. Have a good day. Have a good night wherever you are. Up the Reds. Cheers.